Hi guys, welcome to the video. So I've just finished a training session. Um, and I thought I'd do a video on bullying, uh, especially at school. So I, I get a lot of kids who come to me, they, um, they're they being bullied and they want to start martial arts um, to help them. So when I, when I find that uh, someone's come to me because they're being bullied, I have a, a four step process, which I, I call fear, um, to try and sort the problem out. So fear stands for um, follow the processes, for escalation, taking action, and getting results. Okay, so it's a, it's a four part process. So the, the first part of the process is to follow, sorry, the first part is to follow the process. And this, this means engaging with the school and reading up on what their bullying policy is. And so the very first thing I, I say, say to people is, is make sure you follow the school processes. And the school process is usually things like you go to the school, you talk to the head, you talk to the teacher, you tell them that some bullying is happening and they may or may not do anything. I, I tend to try and make sure you put it in writing because I think it's really important to evidence the, what's happening and the fact that you've done this over a period of time. So you go to school, um, you read their anti-bullying policy, you follow the process that they've got within that policy and you report it up the line to probably to the teacher, to the head of the year, to the head of school. You can make sure you put it right on your side. Um, and, and sometimes this process will work and sometimes, sometimes it won't. Uh, most of the time it doesn't work, so you, you take, which, is not, which is not great because I, I think it should really work. Um, the next stage is to escalate uh, the, the process. So I, I used to be a school governor and I would get the, the, and in fact I was a school governor at a number of different schools and you'd always get the head come along and go, we don't have bullying in my school. All right? And where I teach martial arts, I, I had this from the local school, um, this was a long time ago, but I, I get the head turn, turn around that governs me and say, well, we don't have any bullying. And then I'd have to turn around at the meeting and say, well, how come half my class is full of kids from the school who are being bullied? And so they're coming to learn martial arts, so they don't get bullied. So, as I say, you, you follow the process. If it doesn't work, you need to escalate. So when you escalate it, you need to think about who is responsible for the policy. So the person that's responsible for policy is, is the, the chair of governors and, and the, the, the school governors. So I then write, get the kids to write one. I usually use a standard letter and I, get, I write the letter to the, the chair of governors, um, explaining what's happening, explaining the process you've gone, how many times you've reported, etc. Et and, and, and I report to the governors. What I also do is copy the head in, I copy Ofsted in, and I copy the local MP in. Okay? And the reason I do that is, is that ultimately the chair of governors is the boss of the head teacher. And so the chair of governor needs to put, governors needs to put pressure on the head to fix the problem. Um, and also, as I say, you know, I wasn't aware of any, any bullying. I was aware of bullying because I was teaching kids. But I was always being told by the heads that there was no bullying in the school. Now, it's very hard for the school to turn around and say there's no bullying if they're suddenly getting letters from the children, say, the, from the parents of the children saying that they're, they're being bullied. So then, then it becomes more, what the, the board becomes more aware of what's going on. I then, as I say, I copy Ofsted in, because I want Ofsted to understand that there's bullying going on within the school. And again, you know, if they get a number of the letters being copied in saying that bullying is happening, they're going to start looking at the school and saying, well, what needs to happen? This puts pressure on the governors and it puts pressure on the the head, okay, because they have a legal duty to of care, um, and then I copy the local MP. And the reason I copy the local MP is I want that MP to to be speak to the school and Ofsted to say, well, what's going on? Why why is this happening? So you can kind of see there's, there's 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 downward pressure on the school to do something, and hopefully that gets the, the problem sorted out. Um, one of the things that you need to think about is, is evidence in that process as well. So, so you need to make sure you've got copies of the letters that go into the school, you need to make sure you've got copies of the letters going to the Board of Governors and etc. etc. Um, what you also need to, what the school needs is evidence that the bullying is actually happening. And sometimes sometimes you know, it's your word against someone else or, or a group of people. So one of the things I get, you, get my students to do is to um, record the incidents on their phone 
or I'll buy them a dictaphone and I'll get them to take the dictaphone in and record what's going on. Um, or what I try and get them to do is to work out where all the cameras are. So I teach them, where, teach them how to find where the cameras are um, and then try and hang around those areas so when the bullying happens, it's around where the cameras are. And, and in doing this process, hopefully you'll get some recording of the fact that the bullying has taken place and, and that you're the victim here. And then that allows the school to be able to do something, hopefully. Um, the, the, there is a bit of controversy about taking recording devices into school, but I've had it where I've had the kids in the class where they're being bullied, I've given them the dict I've bought a dictaphone, give them to say go and record it, make sure you've got all the evidence. Um, and then once you, and don't give it straight away, make sure you get three or four examples of the times of bullying. And then you can go back to the school and you say, well look, such and such was bullying me, um, and they did it on this day, this day, this day, and here's the recordings of what was going on. And, and usually the school will get a bit annoyed about it because you're not supposed to bring recording devices on school. Well, not being funny, if the school had done their bit at the beginning, you wouldn't have had to bring the device on. And I've often told parents just to turn around and go, we don't care. At the end of the day, they're, they're, create, they're doing a criminal act. It's bull they, bullying. We call it bullying, but in, in, in essence, it's, a, it's assault, you know, either verbal or physical assault, which is a criminal offence. You know? And so one of the escalations that you can do, and I've got students to do in the past, is to report it to the police and get, get, a, get it reported and recorded within the, uh, the statement. Now, normally the police will turn around and go, it's nothing to do with us, it's on school premises. Well, that's a load of BS because ultimately assault is assault. Okay, it's a criminal offence and it doesn't matter whether it's happened at school, it's happened elsewhere. But that's what, we'll, that's what you'll get, is your feedback from the company please. It's for the school to sort it out. But at least you've got it recorded and writing. And let's face it, I, I also make sure that they tell the school that's what you're doing. And I tell the parents, so again, when, you, when you're writing the letter, you copy the police in, you copy the school in, you copy in the parents, if, you, if you've got their details. And again, all you're doing is escalating it, because you want someone to stop the bullying. Right? And, and this is the key, you want the bullying to stop, and if the bullying stops, great, over and done with. Um, so the A is to take action. So we, we've gone through the process, we've followed all the processes, we've escalated it to the Chair of Governors, to Ofsted, to the local MP, and if we really have to, then we escalate it also to the local police. Okay? If nothing's happened at that point, to me, then you need to take action because no one's doing anything for you. And there's, there's a number of options. So I mean, so for example, we one of the actions that we've had is this, there was some bullying going in, on in, in the school and outside of the school. And the teacher and, and the head basically said, well, we can do something about it in the school, but outside of the school, we can't do anything about it. Um, and so we told the, the parents, so we got the parents to, to write to the school and say, look, we've sorted out, we're going to, is she, that she's going to get picked up by this person, they're a black belt in the, in the cry school that we, we teach, um, and they're going to sort the problem out if there's a fight, it, it, you know, if they're picked on not going from school to home. Um, it never actually happened, we never got a black belt to do it, but the very fact that we turned around and said they're getting picked up by a black belt, and get, you know, that got the school to do something about it, you know, and, and, and you know, it, it stopped the bullying happening there. Um, we've had someone else where we basically said, okay, well, if, if you've been picked on by this group, then what you need to do is you need to work out who the ringleader is, and then every time you see that ringleader on their own, you go up behind them and you just hit them, okay? And it's not nice, and it's not fair, um, you know, but you, you just hit them two or three times, and I showed them where to hit them so they wouldn't cause major damage to the person, but it would hurt. And you, and you show them what to do, and you basically get them to say, if it carries on, every time I see you on your own, I'm going to hit you, whether it's in school or outside school. All right? If you stop it, then we'll stop, or I'll stop. Um, and, and that's worked as well. It's a bit extreme, but it, it, it does work, because ultimately bullies work in, in games, and if, you, if you're picking on the one person on their own, uh, it's a bit more of a fair fight, but don't stand face to face with them. Hit them from behind, don't give them an opportunity to fight back, because they're not giving you, you know, they're not fighting fair, why should you? Um, another thing that we've done as well with kids where they've been um, bullied at school is to um, get the, a group of them together. So where we've got three or four of them being bullied and we get them to work together. And that could either be three or four of them staying together as a group and getting to know each other and being you know, their own little group. Uh, and then, again, the bullies don't tend to kind of um, pick on other groups, maybe. Um, so we, we've, we've done that and that, that's worked quite well. The 
the other thing that we've done is um, um, so we've got them working as a group. Oh, and the other, the other thing we've done is a, a bit of deception. So we've trained someone to hit really hard, and then we've turned around to the bully. You know, we had someone who the bullies didn't knew but didn't know it was related or trained with um, the other kid, and they spread the rumor that the, the other person could hit really hard. Um, and they, we, we, we set it all up so that they, they could hit the other, hit the person who was their friend in the club um, really, really hard. And so it looked like they, they were really powerful. And the only reason they weren't fighting back was because they didn't want to hurt somebody. And that worked as well. So there's a number of different options there that you can take action-wise. Um, and, and to be honest with you, I, I think you just need need to think about those a little bit because some of the act, once you start taking the action, yes, you step it up on the other side as well. So there's a bit of thought process that needs to take place there. Um, if you're lucky and you follow this process, hopefully it's not got to the action part. If it has got to the action part, hopefully that will then resolve the, the situation and you, you get to your main goal, which is not being good. Um, so I know some of those things are a bit controversial. I know that I'm probably going to get a lot of comments in the comment section saying, you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't tell them to do it. Um, realistically, I'm on the side of the kids being bullied. I don't think bullying should, should happen. Um, I was bullied at school. At the time, I didn't really think of it as bullying, but it was being bullied. Um, and I took up martial arts, and to be honest with you, it, it, it's helped me massively. On the side of martial arts, if I'm, if I'm a parent, I would get your children to do judo. Um, I think it works a lot better in schools and other things like karate. Um, Primarily because with karate and taekwondo and those types of martial arts, you, you can hit somebody. You, you, your 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 bully child can become the bully, especially if they get stronger. Um, with judo, the only one you know you can't really attack someone with a throw. Some you've got to be attacked, and the throw works. So I would you know if I've got kids, I'd recommend judo as a a, a good starting point for a kid that's been bullied. Um, most judo clubs I've ever been to have been really nice. I mean, the, the people that train in there have been really good. I mean, I, did, I teach karate and kickboxing and jiu-jitsu, you know, and, and uh, we don't teach judo. But I would say judo is, is probably the best one for children, um, especially if they're being bullied. So I hope that helps. Um, please feel free to like and share. Uh, as I say, put some stuff in the comments section if you want to, and I'll try and respond to them all. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If, this, if your child's being bullied or there's certain aspects you're having problems with, or if you are a child being bullied, um, give me a shout and I'll see if I can help you out. Okay? So, thanks for listening to me and I will see you in the next video.